So here we have Maestro's new GM3 solution for GMC and Chevy trucks. This is installed in a 2015 uh, Chev 2500 and it's been paired with a Kenwood radio. And I'm going to show you all the features that we retain and add. So first we're going to go into this My Silverado tab. We'll click on here. This is going to show us what, what we retain. So first of all, it, here it says Media USB. When we click on it, this is going to provide us with access to the factory auxiliary input, which is located in the center console. So you would use a, a 3.5 millimeter jack to plug it into a phone or an iPod or something, and the music would play out of the speakers. This tab is vehicle info. When we click on it, it's going to show us our tire pressure. It's going to show us our battery voltage. It's going to show us if there's a door open. Also, if we have a check engine, it's going to light up. We're going to be able to, we'd be able to click on it. It would display the check engine code on the screen. And once you verify it's nothing serious, you can proceed to clear the code. This tab is climate. When we go into here, it states at the top, status only. So what this does is this is going to show us when we change any of the climate controls. It shows our fan and shows all of our buttons. Now when we go in here manually, through that tab, this screen will stay up as long as we let it. In all other situations, if we adjust something on the climate, the tab will pop up, and a few seconds later, it'll go away. Here we have gauges. So we click on it, opens our gauge screen. You'll notice here we have P1 and P2. That's because we have two pages of possible gauges. To adjust the gauges, first there's a feature where here we have a needle. If you press and release quick, it toggles between a needle and a, and a bar. If you push and hold, it's going to bring us to our menu where we can choose what gauge we want. And you can see the ones that are available are lit up. Are lit up. The ones that aren't or that are grayed out are either not available in this truck or are are already assigned to a gauge. You can tell if they're assigned to a gauge by seeing the number next to it. So this one, engine coolant temperature, is already assigned to number four. Over to the side, we have some adjustments also. We can change the units, English, metric, and we can set the min and max. Next, we're going to take a look at the settings that we have. So we're going to go to the next page, go to setup, from setup, we go to source, and once you're in source, scroll to the bottom, and we want to go to Silverado setup. So once we're in here, we have two types of settings. We have vehicle features, and we have maestro features. So we're going to start with the vehicle features. Once we go in here, vehicle settings. These vehicle settings are all the settings that were found in the factory radio. So if we go in here, we have stuff like climate, lighting, power door locks. This is a dynamic menu that will be populated by what was in the truck to begin with. Here we have OnStar. So just by pressing the OnStar button, it will activate OnStar. OnStar ready. And she's ready. Cancel. There is currently no active route. Returning to the main menu. OnStar ready. Cancel. Cancel. Thank you. Goodbye. So we saw on the screen all the features that were available. What you can say, do it uh, verbally, or you can choose it on the screen. Down here we have chime and turn signals. This is where we go. We can change our chime volume. It's 1 to 10. There's a second page. When you change it, it gives you a sample of how loud it is. Turn, uh, turn signal volume, same thing. But this one, you need to put the turn signal on to, to hear it. And mute during chime. Mute during chime, what it does is we're creating the chime through an external speaker. So if it's on, it'll actually mute the music playing when it's playing the chime. If it's off, it'll just play the chime over top of the music playing.
So we'll go into the Maestro features. In here, first we'll go through the, we'll go through them all one at a time. Maestro module. So about Maestro, this is going to give you your serial number, your firmware number, stuff like that. If you ever have to call tech support, they might ask you some of these things. Audio gain. So this is actually an adjustment of the level of, in this case, OnStar's voice volume. Master reset. It's kind of self-explanatory. It resets the Maestro module. And this is a very good one right here. Accessory during crank. Currently off. So right now, if I was to start the truck, the radio would reset. If I turn it on and now turn the key, the radio would stay on. It wouldn't reset. In gauges, we have the ability to select gauges, same as we do on the gauges screen. We can set the global units, so we can change them all to metric or English at once. Uh, fuel economy settings, so we can choose the type of fuel, the tank capacity, which is important to be able to calculate how much fuel is left. What we do is we're able to show not just the percentage of the tank, but also how many gallons or liters you have. And here we have the reset fuel economy. So if you're starting a trip and you want to see what your specific fuel economy is for that trip, you can come in here and reset it and it's going to calculate from that point on. Validate PIDs. This is more for tech support. They'll ask you to do this sometimes if something's not working right. But what it will do is it will re-ask the vehicle what gauges are supported. Here we have OBD2 communication. Auto disable is the default. What that will do is the OBD2 is always connected, but we won't read the CAN if we see a scan tool present. We have an option for always enable. The reason we do this is sometimes people have other stuff in the vehicle, um, a program or something like that, and it will automatically kick us off if we're in auto disable. So always enable will allow it to work at the same time. Disabled just turns it off. And then enabled on demand, which is actually preferable in a GMC truck, is used to um, only communicate with the OBD2 when we need to get gauges, so only when we're in the gauges screen. The advantage to this is there's a health status that's available through OnStar, and if we're always on, OnStar can't perform that check. The disadvantage is we don't calculate fuel economy when you're not in the screen. Center gauge warning text. So there's actually a spot where by default it's usually peak, but um, it will light up at a certain point and we have all these, it's just choosing the word that shows up. And about gauges, this isn't always active. That will just, if it is lit up and you click on it, it will just give you a really long string number that only means something to tech support. In vehicle info, we have a whole bunch of options. Check engine alert is the first one. When we go in here, it's on and off. On means that if you're driving and your check engine comes on, it'll actually pop up on the screen and show you, not just in the dash. That's the same thing for doors. If it's turned on and you're driving more than eight miles an hour and a door is open, you're gonna get a warning right in the radio. TPMS alert. Same thing, on and off are the options. And if you get a tire that goes low past the threshold, it will pop up the vehicle info screen right on the radio. And it will show you which tire is low and the pressure that's in it. This will just show you TPMS status, just shows you the status of the TPMS currently. You could get the same info from looking in the vehicle info screen. TPMS units, we're able to change it English to metric. Not many people will be using metric for this. It's KPA, so. And show DTCs. This is another way to see any DTCs that are present in the car. Currently, there are none, so it's not lit up. 
Parking assist. In this case, we don't show anything because the vehicle is not equipped with parking assist. If it was, we'd be able to change the parking in assist interrupt. So currently, right now, if you start backing up and the parking sensors see an object, what it will do is it will pop up the screen and it will show us which sensor is seeing something and how far. And we're also able to change the units because it shows the distance. So it'll either show it in meters or it'll show it in feet. Climate, we have different climate types. This will be automatically detected during the install. See, in this one, we have auto dual zone, so auto, and we have two different temperatures, so it's a dual zone. Some vehicles are equipped with auto or manual. We detect that automatically, but if you, for some reason we don't, we're able to go in and change it. Auto display, that's the feature that will allow the climate to pop up on the screen every time you adjust it, or if it's on, if you go to off, then it's only available or it will only show when you go into the My Silver Auto menu and choose climate.